All right. Somebody asked me how to make a uh, station offset elevation report. So what I've done here is I have a basic little surface. I've got a small alignment going on right there. I've got a profile here of the alignment. It shows the red line as my existing surface. And then this pink and red line with the blue markers on it as my constructed or constructed profile. And I started this one off of zero on purpose and at a nice even elevation so it would show up well. And then it kind of comes across and stops over here. This one here I have it stopping right at the end of my alignment and then an uneven elevation for no apparent reason. But if I want to generate a table like in a Word document or an Excel document, all I need to do is have this going on. Pop over here to the toolbox. Inside the toolbox, we have all these cool choices. The one that I want in this case here is I want to get the profile station and offset. So I'm going to go here to the incremental stationing report. Right click and say execute. That brings up this panel here. It shows me all of my uh, profiles. You'll notice that the, uh, it doesn't bring up the ground profile. So if you're using this to stake out some existing ground, I haven't figured that one out yet. <laughs> but if I, in this case here, I have a new road that I'm going to stake out, which is the main reason I would stake anything. Um, you'll notice here it has a start station that starts at 218 end station, and then it has its little name, Elm Street. Here is a stationing increment that I can use. So instead of uh, just picking any node that I have, I can tell it I'd like to station at a certain increment, in this case 50s. But let's change that down to... Let's change it down to 25, because this is a nice short one. And you'll notice that here I can say create report, and it's going to give me the cool option to crank out a report. Oops, this one here is the, the report in a uh, HTML capacity. I can't really use this for much, well, I can't. I don't need it in this format unless I'm just trying to show someone. But in this case here, it works out well because I can show you, look, it starts at my beginning station and then it increments it every 25 feet. That's not exactly what I wanted. So if I want to set the start station to zero, since the thing does not start at zero, it starts right here at 218, I have to actually set it there. So the nice thing is, well, that's active. I can go in here and grab my station and just for fun. I can drag him back a little bit. And just for kicks, snap it to that endpoint. Now it's at zero. You'll notice that this doesn't change. But now if I go in here and say include this guy, set this to zero doesn't change. If I get out of this tool, everything should be fine. I go over here, it looks like my alignment is up to date. Go back to the toolbox. Go back to incremental station report. Execute this. There we go. Now the start station is at zero. I can double check. Now I've got my station increment set to 25 like I want. And I need to go back in here and reset this to document. Let's say, let's say, say, I want to replace the old one, create a report. I don't think I get a little bar. It goes by really quick. But my doc will pop up. And now I have a Word doc that I can cut and paste out of. Useful, more useful to me than the HTML, but not too bad. But what I'd really rather have is an Excel one. So I can change that to Excel. It's going to name myself Silver Report. It's going to go in my same documents Autodesk subdirectory. I want to replace the one that I made prior. I'll create a report. And you can see something small like this generates pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. I'd like to open this new one because the last one was broken. But now you can see it's nicely in my Excel file and now I can save it as something else. And you'll see that the station here starts at right where I think it should and it shows me one at 22 or one at 25. 36.6, we noticed that one here showed up. Same with 11.66. If we go back into here and I highlight this, you'll see that right here. That guy shows up as station 37.09, if I zoom in, of course. 
and get a little more accurate, we can see that that should be station 36.6 basically. So anywhere there's a PI, or this here is a PC, my PC, my PI, my PT, those ones do show up. And if you look at PT, it should be 186. So if I go back and look at my Excel file, and I look at 186, there's one right there. So yeah, pretty much there's any change, but it builds a pretty nice table. But if I only want even stations, I could kick those out as well. But that's the gist of it. Pretty easy. Alright, thanks. See ya.